Hey guys, so um, today I'll be making some uh, French toast. Eggs here and You see the origins of French toast are a bit unknown. No one really knows uh, where this started. French toast is served as a sweet dish, milk, sugar, or cinnamon are also commonly added before trying, or oh, excuse me, frying, and then it may be uh, topped with sugar, butter, fruit, syrup, or other items. Uh, when it is a savory dish, it is generally fried in a pinch of salt, and it can then be served with sauce. I think it's sauce. is to soak the bread in milk and fries. The origins of the recipe are unknown, although a version appears in the 4th century Roman cookbook, often attributed to Apicius, other turtles, uh, Soligineus, Rasos, Frangis, Et, Pucellus, Meoris, Ah, uh, what the fuck is this? Pretty much.
toast. So you fry, you soak the bread in eggs, then you fry it. I think you can add a little milk to it for uh, volume more fluff. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. Imagine it's the people we are. Yeah, it's a little bit early, so I can't be too loud. But there we go. It's like six o'clock. I was up playing uh, Left 4 Dead 2 all night. Uh, still can't wait for Left 4 Dead to come out on Linux. That'd be good. Although I haven't used Ubuntu in like a month. I don't know, but um, all the programs I'm using are just not working as they did. I might have updated and uh, changed something. Who knows? I'll check it out and I'll, I'll do some, put some updates maybe later on today. And, uh, there was a new point release that came out, so um, maybe that fixes some of the uh, some of the bugs. But yeah. Can't wait for 12.10. It seems like it's gonna be a nice update. You know. and, um, we let it fry. Let me do, let's get even closer. No stabilization though, so. Oh man, focus, it's autofocus. Look at that thing. There, I don't want to get too close. And so, let's get back up. There we go. Auto focus. Mm. So, for the snoring. Search up uh, French toast history. There we go. Chef taught the origin of French toast. Let's see. Sometimes we never think about where things come from, do we? The popular history behind um, French toast, aka German toast, American toast, Spanish toast, as if, is that it was uh, created by medieval, uh, medieval European cooks who need to use every bit of food they could find to feed their families. Hmm, okay, makes sense. The, they knew that um, 
old stale bread, uh, French term, pain perdu, literally means lost bread. Could be revived when moistened and heated. Because you know, stale bread is horrible. Where am I? Where are they? Cooks would have added eggs for additional moisture and protein. Uh, medieval recipes for French toast uh, also suggest that this meal was enjoyed by wealthy, uh, by the wealthy actually. Uh, cookbooks at this time were written by and for the wealthy. Yeah. These recipes use white bread, the very finest, most expensive bread available at the time, uh, with the crust cut off. Damn, they're uppity. Uh, something a poor hungry person would unlikely do. Damn straight. Actually, recipes for French toast can be traced uh, back to ancient Roman times. One of the original French names for the dish is, I don't know if it's pain or pain, uh, a la Romaine, uh, the Roman bread. Apicius? Api? Apicius, Apicius, I think, wrote uh, another sweet dish, break, uh, fine white bread, crust remove, or rather large pieces of, uh, pieces with, which soaked in milk, fry in oil, cover with honey, and serve. Okay. So it is mainly French. But it's not originally French, it's medieval Roman, something, whatever. like a minute or two more and be good. And we have some pancake syrup. And we're gonna enjoy the meal. So let me just get ready to turn it off. Hmm, what do I wanna drink with this? Because we can, some Gatorade.
Alright, let me reposition you. A not so healthy breakfast for a not so healthy guy. I'm estimating about 1500 calories for the whole thing. Syrup. And you're ready for the first bite. Yum, yum, yum. This should taste like gold, I can tell you that. Alright, so you saw it in action, guys. <laughs> 